Yeah, Florence is slowly walking through North Carolina and South Carolina. Jim? Let, let's say that it's taking the scenic route and it's coming right mm -hmm. through the Midlands. Right now, this is the 5 o'clock advisory, and as of 5 o'clock, it was located about 50 miles west-southwest of Wilmington, North Carolina. It is a tropical storm. The maximum sustained winds at 70 miles per hour. It's moving west at 3 miles per hour and still slowly kind of weakening. But here's the important thing. Don't just look at that one little number because that's the highest sustained wind somewhere in the storm. Keep in mind that the wind field in this thing is quite large, so it's going to take a while for this to kind of wind down. It's not going to be a real fast weakening as uh, some might think. Okay, here's the radar, and you can see the center right about there and it's continuing to drift toward the west very slowly. But look at all this rain on the, on the west side of the storm now. It's rotated around. We're getting a lot of rain from North Carolina all the way down to Horry County. This is Horry County. There's Myrtle Beach. Just a steady rain and driving rain at that. It's moved in to the Florence area, but there it's just kind of coming in waves, and now it's beginning to move into Lee County here and the extreme eastern portions of uh, Sumter and uh, Clarendon County. You can see a little bit of light rain trying to uh, uh, move into Richland County as well. This is just the beginning. A few, a few passing showers here in Columbia this evening, but most of the rain won't come in to our area until later tonight. Now, here is the latest information. Uh, we're waiting for them to update this. The hurricane warning has now been replaced with a tropical storm warning. So tropical storm warnings now cover all of about the eastern half of the state, including the Columbia and Orangeburg areas, Winsboro, everything to the east of that under a tropical storm warning. Now I'm going to show you the uh, spaghetti plots once again because I wanted to kind of show you how slow this is moving. This is where the Different computer models think it's going to be uh, as of early tomorrow afternoon. And then we go up uh, to Sunday afternoon, and finally it's moving into the upstate in the mountains of North Carolina. And then it's going to actually pick up speed and race up toward the northeast and eventually out into the North Atlantic. But by then, of course, it's just a, an area of low pressure. The 5 o'clock advisory, maximum sustained wind 70 miles per hour. You might still see some wind gusts out in the open waters up to 85 miles per hour. W moving west at just 3 miles per hour. You can see the extent of the cloud cover here, the circulation around this system. Notice here in North Carolina, even though the center is about right there, we're still getting an onshore flow. So at high tide, they're still seeing a storm surge along the North Carolina coast, and it's drawing moisture into North Carolina. And it, eventually what's going to happen here is this batch is just going to rotate around the system, and it's going to come right down into South Carolina. Uh, so the northern third of our state is going to be seeing a tremendous amount of rainfall from this system. Now, here's the 5 o'clock advisory, and what we've got here is every 12 hours. So, um, we expect it to come into our state tonight around 8 o'clock this evening. By 2 o'clock in the morning, notice it's still over uh, in the far eastern part of our state with maximum sustained winds at 60. By the time it's starting to come into the Midlands, it's a weak tropical storm with maximum sustained winds at maybe 45 miles per hour. Quickly it becomes a depression. Now, the track, the center line track, that's this right here, has shifted a little bit to the north. Before they had it coming through Columbia, now they've got the center passing just north of Columbia, but that doesn't help everybody to our north because that's where the heaviest rain's going to be. And then eventually it moves on up into North Carolina on Sunday. Now, uh, this is what we call the water vapor imagery. And the reason why I'm showing this is to show you some of the things that are going on with this system. Here's the hurricane. This was as of 11 o'clock this morning. This is a six hour time loop of this particular system. And we don't have any real dry air, except maybe right in this area, a little pocket there. But look at the moisture that's coming in off of the Atlantic into North Carolina. Now keep in mind, Eastern North Carolina has already seen a lot of rain. Some of these stations over here, gauges, have already reported more than 20 inches of rain. 
And what the uh, water vapor uh, satellite picture is telling us is there's still a lot of moisture coming in off of the Atlantic into North Carolina, which means that their rainfall is going to continue and will likely continue through tonight into tomorrow. And as this system moves into South Carolina, again, this area right here, the northeastern part of our state, is going to see a lot of rain. Well, we're going to see the updated rainfall prediction in just a moment. These are the wind gusts right now. Notice over at Myrtle Beach, they're seeing winds gusting to 49 miles per hour in Florence, 47, in Sumter, 43. Now at Shaw Air Force Base, they just recorded a wind gust to 46 miles per hour. Here in Columbia, we're seeing winds gusting to 31 miles per hour and then lesser amounts as you go off toward the west. Now here in the Midlands, currently, uh, because of the rain that's moving into the eastern part of the Midlands, it's 76 in Bishopville, 77 degrees, and Manning it's 79 in the Camden area, but it's still 86 degrees here in Columbia and Lexington, 84, Newberry, 82 degrees in Aiken, Orangeburg, you're at 84 degrees, but 79 degrees in Camden. Here are the winds here in the Midlands. These are sustained winds. Bishopville sustained at 30 miles per hour, 25 in Sumter, 18 here in Columbia, 15 over in Aiken, but 23 in Saluda. These are the wind gusts. Not only are they seeing wind gusting to 43 in Sumter, but also in Bishopville, 39 is the wind gust in Camden, 31 here in Columbia, and we're getting some gusty winds even in the western part of the Midlands. So here's our forecast. Our computer is forecasting by midnight tonight. We're going to be seeing sustained winds over here uh, in the 35 mile an hour range, maybe a little bit more than that in places. And then as the as we go into the morning, may not be quite as strong, but you'll see what happens with the wind gusts. So it's going to be windy across the area tonight and it's going to be windy into tomorrow. It's not until we get to tomorrow evening that we're getting back into the 10 to 20 mile an hour range. Now, let's go to our wind gust. Uh, this was the computer projection. Obviously, it didn't have the current observations, but it's a, it's a close. So this is an approximation. As we go through time by midnight tonight, notice we're getting a number of wind gusts from the computer model indicating 40 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts in the eastern part of the Midlands. Here in Columbia, it's likely we'll see 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts. We go forward in time and you can see even during the early morning hours our persistence of wind gusts. It's not going to be happening all the time. When you wake up tomorrow morning, you may start to see some of these wind gusts in the eastern part of the state to come down but we're going to be seeing some um, stronger wind gusts here in the central Midlands, particularly Winsboro and in Camden. There you might be seeing winds gusting to 45 miles per hour. And into the afternoon, we're still going to see gusty winds. The, the stronger winds might be now to the northern part of us, but we're still going to be seeing gusty winds into tomorrow evening. But by to tomorrow, tomorrow evening, I think even the wind gusts will be coming down. So from now, through this time tomorrow, you can expect some gusty winds. Now, we just got the updated rainfall uh, projection. Notice over in North Carolina, this is in addition, oh shoot, it, it shifted on me, Daniel. But anyway, this 20 should be right here. Uh, and they're expecting an additional 20 inches of rain on top of what they have already gotten. Uh, right here in this area, 15 to 20, um, Looks like the Florence area is going to get about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Right here in uh, the Camden area, you can expect 7 to 10 inches of rain, even down in Sumter. Here in Columbia, it still looks like we're going to get 3 to 5 inches of rain. Once you get down to Orangeburg, it's going to be in the 2 to 3 inch range. Then you get along the river here, the Savannah River, you're probably going to be seeing less than an inch of rain. So um, these contours have been updated, but the numbers, uh, they shifted on me, so we'll have to go back in and correct that. But the good news is that this is no longer a hurricane. It is a tropical storm, and it is not going to strengthen. It's just going to slowly weaken over the next 24 hours.